Thanks, Pat. So, um, again, my name is Wayne Hurley. I'm with West Central Initiative. Um, <clears throat> basically, for those of you that aren't familiar with West Central Initiative, we do a lot of different things. We're a nonprofit foundation. We uh, get involved in a lot of grant and loan programs in the region. We cover a nine county service area. So, we have the same four counties that Partnership for Health has, plus the five directly to the south of their region. So, um, what I do specifically here at West Central Initiative is regional planning. And so uh, we work with uh, MnDOT to do regional transportation planning in the nine county area. And a lot of the work that we do with regional transportation planning deals with um, active transportation planning. And so um, we get involved in a lot of different transportation projects, but basically it's, you know, the, we don't get a lot of requests for things like highways and, and roads. Uh, communities tend to have pretty good handle on that stuff where they need help because I mean, we, have, we have great engineers in the region. And so they have a really good handle on the roads and the highways. Where we get a lot of requests for assistance is from communities is with their, their um, pedestrian and bicycle infrastructure. And so we get involved in a lot of things like Safe Routes to School. Um, Emily Ambrosi um, with West Central Initiative is here. She works on a lot of Safe Routes to School projects for us. Um, we get involved in a lot of things like, like Patrick was talking about. Uh, up at Detroit Lakes, we were involved with a bicycle communities workshop, and so we were, we were working on that. Um, we also uh, we're, are working, there's the four of us in the picture on the upper right there, uh, myself, Emily, Patrick, and then uh, Jake Crone, who you saw in Patrick's slide. The four of us are, are working on a bicycle master plan for the city of Fergus Falls. So that's currently underway. Uh, West Central Initiative was, was named as a silver bicycle friendly business uh, this year. And so um, we are working on a lot of these sorts of things. And where we intersect with Partnership for Health, what really is, is the great thing about working with them is we have a lot of, of requests from communities in, throughout our nine county region to help with things around active transportation. And because we don't have the staff capacity to really meet that uh, need around the entire region, it really helps to have Patrick and a lot of the other folks that work with Partnership for Health to help with that, um, you know, talking about complete streets and safe routes to school, um, and various active transportation projects. And so that's really where, where you know, the, the marriage between our work with MnDOT and, and Partnership for Health's work with active transportation kind of come together to meet the needs of the communities throughout the region that really don't have the staff capacity to work on those sorts of projects. So I think my time is just about up, so I'll turn it over to Dan.